Hey you guys, welcome back to today's video. Today I'm actually playing out my releases. I have two upcoming releases this uh, in the next couple months and I really wanted to share with you guys my process. I've learned a lot about how to release a book, how to launch books, and I really want to test it out. I feel I haven't done a successful launch yet. I'm hoping this is the one and every time I launch a book, I learn something new and I recently um, took a class and from Inker's Cons conference that you guys know I bought and I've learned a lot from Alexandra Torre on how to release a book and the timeline that I should be doing so what I'm doing right now is actually writing down every single thing that I need to do for two books so this is what is happening as you guys know I already released Between Us last year however what I am doing now is I am planning the release of the sequel to Between Us and I'm planning on releasing that this summer. But before I release that, I am revamping Between Us because my initial um, thought was to release Between Us and the sequel last year, but with the pandemic and everything that happened, I just didn't have the energy or the desire or just, you know, I was too caught up in everything that was happening with the pandemic to even focus on having a good launch for Between Us because I literally launched Between Us right at the beginning of the pandemic and I definitely did not uh, want to put any energy into uh, releasing the sequel. So th all that has been moved to this year. So what I'm doing now is for Between Us, I am creating a new cover, so I'm giving it new life. I am creating the audiobook, which I am so excited about. And you guys are going to get to hear a little sneak peek of what's happening so far. It's so exciting. I can't wait. And um, so what I'm doing is obviously, you know, revamping between us. So I need to plan out that big new launch of the new cover and the audiobook so that I can promote the sequel that will be coming out shortly after. So if you're into, you know, uh, book series, then this, uh, my series is perfect for you, especially if you like the genre in which I write. So what I did here is I printed out different calendars because my initial thought was to release the sequel to Between Us in June. But there are things that need to be done for Between Us that I needed to make sure I planned out accordingly. So that is what I'm doing right now is I am just creating a plan of all the things that need to happen first for the sequel to Between Us because it's still in the editing phase and I'm trying to publish it in June. So you guys are going to see it's a little problematic to be in such a short deadline. So I really wanted to lay it all out and see if this was even going to be able to be possible for a June release as it stands right now, because a lot of the things that are happening um, that need to happen are not up to me. For example, the cover is up to, you know, when I receive the cover for the sequel is up to the cover designer. When the editor is done, it's up to the editor. Um, so there's a lot of things that are not up to me. Like when I order the proof from KDP, it depends on how long it takes them to get it to me. If I order it from Ingram Sparks, how long it takes them to get to me. So that's all the things that I'm working out right now. And you guys are going to see a closer look in a second of what I'm up against. Between Us by Mari Suggs Chapter 1 Emma The balding man across the bar kept glancing over his shoulder 
as he flirted with every single girl that stepped up to the bar. Having been refused by three, last I counted, a small sheen of perspiration had started to appear over his brow. I wondered if his girlfriend was expected at any moment, and if that was the reason for his paranoia. But if she was expected, he'd forgotten about her soon after scoring a yes from a supermodel type. He'd since moved on from the bar, taking my entertainment along with him. Okay, so this is what we have so far. I wanted to release the spinoff to Between Us, June 17th. I originally wanted to do it the first, the second week in June, and I knew that wasn't going to happen. So after doing this whole thing, I realized that June is not going to happen. So I'm going to have to push the release to the spinoff of Between Us to July. So I feel a little better about that because now I know that I have a little more time to launch everything I want to do. So like I've already mentioned, let me just go everything that I'm doing here, but I want to go over it with you guys again. So basically what I am doing is I am doing Between Us, the audiobook, and I'm getting a new cover for it. And I want everything to be fresh and new and to match the next book, the spinoff, which I haven't announced, but I will do all the things. Um, I will do it in my newsletter. So if you guys are not signed up to my newsletter, make sure you are because I'm going to be announcing everything on there. So this is where we are at right now. Let's see. So I originally wanted to do the release on the 17th, right? Let me grab the camera. Hold on. It'll be easier this way. So I originally wanted to do the release for the next one here. But as you can see, there's so much happening beforehand, and I'm not even done planning, that this date, I, I'm coming, it's, I'm not going to be done with the Between Us stuff in time to release this one to make this one a successful launch. Because as you can see, I'm cutting it very close here um, to, you know, the, the audio book is going to be done on April 30th. And from here, I have to approve it. ACX has to approve it and I have no idea how long that's going to take. I mean, we could, they could approve it right away or we could go the entire month without them approving it. And I really don't want to run into any problems with Between Us while I'm trying to launch the sequel. So I want to make sure that the audiobook for Between Us is all nice and done before this launch. You know, hopefully. If not, you know, I'm not going to delay this for, you know, till November or anything like that. So, so the first thing we're going to do here is this is all about the editing. Right now, the editor has the spinoff to Between Us and I gave it to her last week. She said it would take her about a week to give me the copy edits and that's the developmental edits. And that's where I'm hoping to get it. We're here today. I'm giving her an extra day. Hopefully we'll get it back here. What I'm hoping to do is once she gets it back to me, I can work through all her edits and give it back to her next week so she can do the copy edits. I am giving her, hopefully she can get it back to me in eight weeks. And that is, puts me right here at the end of April. Then once I get it back, I am hoping to, you know, have one, two, three, four days to finish her revisions. Then I'm going to format it. Then I'm going to upload it to KDP. And then I'm going to order a, a proof so that I can read it. Hopefully, I will get the proof in a week and I will read it and approve it. If everything goes good, I'm going to upload it to Ingram Sparks. I am going to order a proof and it'll, it'll take them about 10 days to get to me, review it and if all goes well, then, you know, this will be kind of ready to go. I'm hoping that I will have the cover at some point. My, I have to see when my, I think she said she might be able to get it to me by the, let's see, I don't even know when she said she was going to get it to me. I think April. So by the, by the end of April, I might be able to have the cover. Hopefully I'll have the cover. Let me actually write that down because I just talked to her. So I think I'll have the cover 
then for the for the um for all this stuff to you know be able to happen and then if all goes well i'll do a big launch for the audiobook and the new cover for between us in june and then july will be all about the sequel i think that's a pretty good plan and now what i'm going to do is i am going to i have started making a list of bloggers um and like I keep mentioning, I took the InkersCon conference online and I've learned a lot about marketing and what I need to do. And there's a timeline that Alexandra walked me through that this timeline that I was doing, trying to publish it at the end of June was not going to work because bloggers um, and do, to do a blog tour, they need to have the book ahead of time because sometimes you know they get booked up and giving them a couple weeks before the launch is not going to work so i'm going to try to get all that stuff done um get you know reach out to all the blog tours to see if i can book it ahead of time in that way I know, you know, which tours are going to be available for my launch and how many people I can get the book out there to and all the things. I also have to write the back cover to the next one. So that's what I'm going to be working out now. I'm glad I did this because now I have a big picture of, you know, now I can see that a June release is not going to work. So now I'm just going to hop on my computer and um oh i hope you guys enjoyed that little clip of the audiobook for between us it sounds so good she is perfect and what i love most is that if you guys don't know between us is told from two perspectives the male perspective and the female perspective and she's the she's always doing the female perspective but her husband is doing the male uh perspective and i am so excited to hear the final product i am just like crazy i've been wanting to do this book in audio form for a very since you know i released it last year so i'm excited that it's going to get a new life with a new cover and audiobook and then that you guys are going to get to read you know the spin-off to that the month after so i am super 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 excited to that but right now i'm going to just go to my computer and start writing the cover uh the back cover blurb to the spin-off so and i'm dying to release the name of the book but I don't want to do it without the cover so you guys you know you know what that is like i hate saying the spin-off but i really want to share it all as you know the right way so back to behind the scenes <laughs> Okay, as always, this is really hard. This is why I haven't written it, even though I've known this story for, God, I think two years now. So what I'm gonna do is when I get back, I'm gonna hop on to, I'm gonna go to lunch now. <laughs> when I get back, I'm gonna hop on to Inker's Con, uh, the conference that I bought. Um, and I'm going to, uh, they have, let me see what it's called. Hold on, I'll share with you guys in a minute what it's called because they have something about writing blurbs that I feel that's what I need. Craft and creating beautiful blurbs. So when I get back, I'm going to spend some time watching and listening to that uh, panel to see if I can get some inspiration to finish writing that blurb. So now I'm going to lunch, so I'll check in with you guys in a bit. Okay, I just got back from lunch. I took a little nap and now it's time to get to that panel and hopefully I can learn some tips on how to write a blurb. And if I learn something of value that will help you guys, I will definitely share it in this video. So let's get to learning. <laughs> My name is Brittany Holland.
So an hour and a half later, <laughs> I'm done with the conference panel discussion. And I did learn a few things and I did um, get an idea of how to write the blurb a little better. And I think I'm gonna do a separate video on that. So I know I said I was going to share what I learned on here, but I feel like it should just be a separate video because I think um, if you guys want to really get a full grasp of how to write a good blurb, it'll be better to just dedicate an entire video to that. So that's what I'm gonna do next. Um, but for now, I'm gonna call it a day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am still planning the release for Between Us. I'm still adding some more things. And I am still trying to figure out the best date for the sequel to that. But I am learning a lot. And as always, I will bring you guys along on this writing journey behind the scenes. Remember, if you like this video, to give it a thumbs up, to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you guys in a brand new video in a couple days. Until then, stay safe.